Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. In this video, I will show you a new build for Lava Amplifier for Twine Peaks Endurance. With all the latest edits and updates. Lava Amplifier is one of the easiest amplifiers to build. Since the map structure around it helps a lot. And unlike the old build, for this one, I will use the minimum block offs possible. So you will have ton of extra structures to use. By the way, I recently uploaded a new build for Valley Amplifier, make sure to check it out. And without further ado, let's get started. For Lava Amplifier, they spawn in two locations, here and here. And there are a rare spawn here. For the Husk Paths, most of them will follow this ramp, since it's the shortest way to the amp. There are two other paths which flingers and lovers may follow to have a spot to target the amplifier. First one is here, but I already blocked it during Valley Amplifier new build. The second one is here. You can block it too, but if you did, smashers and mini bosses may destroy the build. Same as Valley Amplifier, you need to give them a way to the amp and another way back to the spawn to avoid any destruction. But don't worry, few traps here will do the job. Before you build anything, make sure to read the description. In case there is a newer build or update for this build, I will leave it there. Let's start with the main tunnel. And to avoid any confusion, let's call this build, Lava Amplifier 2023 Build 1. Start from here. Although the build is easy, it may be confusing for some people. So, I will build a bit slow to make it easier. Add another 3 here. It's extra, for low durability, but keep it to make sure. Block this one. Sometimes a plaster may try to pass through this gap. Add this floor to prevent that. Add three floors here. If you got lost during this part, don't worry. I will jump up every few steps, to show you the build progress. Now, for the other spawn. They will spawn here. Let's force them to go to the main tunnel, instead of building another one. It's a small spawn anyway. Give them an entrance to the main tunnel. And add block offs here.
Now for the roof and lava shield. Six roofs here. Another six. Drop traps will be the best here, to push them out of the tunnel. Now, let's block this part. This part is very important. During wave 15, mist pods will spawn mini bosses for valley amplifier. And they will walk all the way to here. To reach you under the AFK spot. During that, they may destroy some walls here to pass through. Add this edited cone to give them a clear path to reach you. Any they will reach you easily. Sometimes they go down here and get stuck. So they will destroy your tunnel. Because they can't reach you, I don't know if it is a new bug or not. But to avoid that, add these floors to give them another path to follow. And that's all what you will need for the main tunnel. Now, for the last path. Few husks only will follow it, like Pitcher, Lover and Zapper. So, three tiles tunnel will be more than enough. Now, for the loop bridge. The trick here is to trick the smashers and mini bosses to walk over this geyser. Then throw them to the lava. To do that, let's start the loop bridge from here. Smashers and mini-bosses will come down from here and follow the bridge. Or they will go through the main tunnel then go the loop bridge. But still, the geyser will only push them up. Not to the lava. So, add this part, to make sure they fall down into the lava. Add three more walls. Now, all of them will fall in the lava, I will add clips for it during the gameplay video. I will upload it tomorrow if I manage to finish it.
Sometimes, the smashers during wave 26 get stuck here, and don't recognize the amp at all and they will destroy the walls here. It's a bug. But to avoid it, add these four pillars. Also, you can add pillars for the main tunnel. You can add them here. To give the husk a longer path. Plus it will increase the efficiency of the wall launcher traps. And you can remove these two walls. Now, here are some important notes about the build and the current bugs in the game. For some people, smashers may charge on these pillars. They see it as block-offs. So, if you got this issue, remove them. Also, for some people, propane sees this floor as a block-offs too, they can't climb it, causing damage to your build. So, if you got this issue, remove this floor. This bug is common with all the floors right after ramps. Make sure to connect your roof from there not from here because any walls here may get destroyed by the mini boss from valley amplifier mist pods during wave 15 and you may lose all your roof traps and the lobber shield the spawn sometimes moves a bit near to the tunnel and destroy these two walls but it's okay don't worry you can add more block offs if you want but as you will see in the gameplay tomorrow the current block offs is more than enough for all the main and random waves For the loop bridge, don't build it here. Because the sparkles from the lava will destroy it, just build it as I did. Don't close this tunnel. Because if you did, it will drive the mini boss crazy during some waves. If there are new edits or updates for the build, I will add them in the description. And now, for the traps and perks. Now, let's add the traps. Make sure of the direction of the drop traps. This gas tank points to the direction where the husk will be pushed to. So, push them out of your tunnel, not in. The total cost of the build is, 131 structures. There are parts you can remove to save structures, but keep them to make sure. You can use broadside traps here facing the sound wall traps. I will use more sound walls for more control on the propanes. If you will use the broadside traps, replace the one reload sound wall with two reload.
Use one or two reload speed wall launchers. But inside the tunnel, use two reload not one. Use freeze, tar pit, or floor spikes traps here. For me, I will use floor spikes. The point is, when you use tar pit traps here, the husk will keep getting stuck in it, the wall launchers will push them and the drop traps will throw them down. And that can ruin the durability of the entrance of the tunnel. Like half of the tunnel will get used a lot and the other half didn't. It may cause issues during late waves, if you got many random waves on the same amp. It's not a big deal, I just wanted to explain it, since a lot of people still confused about it. You can use retractable floor spikes here. You can add extra electric field trap here. As you see, this is a damage build. So make sure to have good traps damage ratio. Check this video to know how to increase your traps damage. And if your trap's durability is low, check this video to know how to increase your trap's durability ratio. The best spot to use for the build is the AFK spot. Check this video to know how to build TI. I will upload a gameplay for the build tomorrow with all the main and random waves to show you how the build works. I tried to shorten the video as possible, but I wanted to explain everything I know about the build. Also, don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me. And that's it, hope you enjoyed it, and as always see you in the next one.